Okay, so we have our placemat in the sewing machine, and we're going to push the green button to start it. I don't know what things your machine has, but I'm sewing right on the inside of their seam line. So where the fabric's folded over, I'm right on the inside of that. So you back stitch, about three stitches, and then go forward. I'm gonna go kinda quick. You can go as slow as you need to. So I'm just gonna be sewing in a straight line. Stop it when you get to the edge. Turn it. We're gonna sew down this side. a little bit because if it if I had pinned out here you'd have to be taking these out as you're going along it just takes a little longer so if you pin it a little bit more inside it does hold your fabric in place but it also uh, you also don't have to sit there and stop your machine and pull out the pins while you're sewing and just kind of keep chugging along without running over your pins or breaking your needle so we're almost there so then we go down this side you're sewing inside of the fabric oh, flipped up. It was folded. See, that one actually flipped up, so you just gotta watch for that. And we're almost there. We're gonna stop, and then this is the home stretch. So we're gonna sew, you wanna watch where to stop, because you don't wanna sew your pillow all the way shut. So I started right here. So that's a pretty decent hole. Let's go a little bit more back stitch, forward stitch. Now I'd say that's actually about four inches that I left. All right, so after that's done, go ahead and pull all your pins out. Pull them out quick. And once you're done, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna go ahead and put your hand in there, grab the corner, I find it's easiest to grab a corner. Just grab the corner and pull the corner through. Go ahead and... Now you wanna be kinda gentle when you're doing this. You don't wanna shove it too hard because you don't wanna pop your stitches. Um, but they should pretty, pretty, you know, sound pretty good to hold. Um, like I said, you can use whatever kind of backing you want. I like this backing because it's very boutique-y, boutique-ish, how you wanna say it. Um, kind of rustic. It kind of goes with the front of the, the placemat, or I should say our pillow. This $1.79 pillow. All right, so we're pushed out all the corners. I'm just shoving my finger up in there. What you can use is, I sometimes use a dulled pencil to push the corners out. That works really well. Um, if not, just keep pushing it with your finger, working it with your fingers. Okay, so. There we have the pillow turned right side out. And then next, we're going to go ahead and stuff it. Let me go ahead and get the stuffing. Okay. So, you'd be surprised at how much of the stuffing you need. We are not. When I make the dolls, I am always surprised by how much stuffing goes in those little dolls I make. So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed this in here. It's best like when you do stuff items with this stuffing that you try not to, I don't like to pull it out in little balls and shove it in there because it makes the pillow feel kind of chunky. So I just kind of keep trying to feed it in there as one giant blob. So, and this got it all. Just keep, just keep plugging away, shove it in there. You can make it as fluffy or flat as you want. We're gonna try and get it nice and even and not too chunky that you can't read the writing very well. Kinda wanna smash it around a little. I think I need a little bit more right here where the E and the A is. Now it does feel kind of lumpy, but if you kind of just massage it and puff it around, beat it up a little bit. All right, so this is where I said you don't want to leave a giant hole to sew because like I said, you're gonna see, you're gonna basically 
See how these kind of fold in because your seam allowance is on the inside? So you're going to sit here and kind of do this so it gets nice and even. Take your pin, pin that shut. And then we're going to pin over here. And then we're going to go ahead and get our machine back over. Now you kind of want to smush your stuffing away from the seam. If not, it gets kind of hard to sew, sew it shut. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that up under there. You don't want to leave as, you want to leave only a little bit of seam allowance, not like you were doing when you were sewing it inside out because um, you want your stitches to be close to the edge of the pillow. So not too close, but I'm actually sewing along this off-white line right here. So the nice thing is you really won't be able to see my stitches there. It'll keep the pillow shut. It kind of blends in. And then you're going to remove the pins as you stitch along the seam. <laughs> the thread scared me. Huh, it just popped because it got stuck. They're all good. It just scared me for a minute. I thought my thread was getting stuck on the top. And then you're going to pull the pin out as you get closer. Keep sewing along till you close off your seam there. Back stitch three or four times and then cut your thread. So then you're just going to cut your thread on the ends. And cut your thread on the other end. All right. And there you go. Bring you back up so we can see each other. Perfect. Whoops. And you're wobbling around. Okay. There you go. There's your Halloween throw pillow. Simple as that. So you can make a really cute Halloween pillow in about 15, 20 minutes. And I'd say we'd saved ourselves, I don't know, what do you think? 15, 20 bucks? And it was $1.79. So hit up your local old time pottery or if you see one of these uh, placemats hanging around and you want to snag one up, go ahead and grab it and make yourself some little throw pillows. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.